today on Car Finds The Full Story, we are talking about the world's fastest milk truck. Over the past year and a half, the Lord has blessed me so much to be able to meet and get to know people just like the builder and owner of the Divco milk truck right here on 3G Video. The Backstory. Um, uh, my name is Nick Cryer from Manhattan, Illinois. I've been racing since I was 11 years old, starting junior dragsters as a kid. Came up through a bracket program at Route 66 Raceway in Joliet. Still have the bracket cars, just don't use them as much since we play with the milk truck now. Started with junior dragsters, then when I was 14 I bought a 70 Chevelle, me and my dad restored it together. Then. After I got done racing that through the high school program, I stepped into a 69 Camaro. Um, it was running like 890s, same deal, still bracket racing, and then I upgraded to a 03 undercover dragster. Um, bracket race that since 2011. Um, then we got in the milk truck, and it took about six years to build the milk truck. We went through and basically fabricated almost everything underneath ourselves. We started with a 95 Chevy pickup front chassis and grafted in our own chassis through the back half. It's a ladder bar setup. 565 big block Chevy, twin turbo. The turbo setup's from eBay, just real cheap, you know, basic setup we got for it. Got a turbo 400 transmission with a gear vendor behind that. Four nine inch, uh, running 373 for the Posi unit behind that. Yeah, most, most of it's all our work. Besides the front portion of it, everything else we did on our, our own, me, my dad, my uncle Bill. So as far as the bracket racing goes, uh, we, we've raced Mainly Midwest area, Byron, Indy, Cordova, 66, 41, it's all kind of low, within three hours of the house we try to try to stay within. The milk truck, we've only taken the drag week and sick week. It, we don't compete anywhere else with that other drag drive. That's what we built it for, so that's what we stick to. Um, wish I could do more. I'd love to do race week and, and Midwest drags and all that. Just getting time off work. I'm a carpenter by trade, so it's difficult to find the free time. I got three kids at home too, so that, that's hard to break away from that as well so do they ever go with you bracket racing they do my wife drove the chevelle for a few years she before she had the first kid so we raced together for probably five years um, but they have not been to the dragon drive yet it's it's uh you know tough to get the kids out of school and everything else so what age are you? 10 8 and 5 three little girls <laughs> well all this hates racing doesn't hate racing but has no interest in it. i've tried to get her a junior drag so she didn't like it my middle one's got a need for speed i think she will be my racer, but the third one, we don't know yet. It, she's, she's a maniac, so probably. Future goals for the Divco. I think a high, high hope would be to get in the 10. We'd love to see it go 1099, just, just to say it did it, you know? Uh, but that's been our goal every week we've raced this thing. So haven't achieved it yet. It's, I don't know if the setup is capable of doing it. I, I, I think we're starting to max out what our injectors can provide and max out what the turbos are pushing so it that's why that we're starting to shed weight now you know that that's the next option is to just start feeling stuff out of it and get, get it on the weight side instead of the power side so um but yeah that, that's our goal there uh long-term goals we got another car at home uh, uh, uh 34 ford coupe fiberglass body uh that that would be what i would build to make competitive in, in one of these classes that'd be the next build for us so maybe send dad in the driver's seat of this and I'd like to get into that, so uh, same deal, it's a few years out, I've you know, got to gather money and, and get a plan and everything else, so. Sum up your experience with racing. Really a passion with my dad, they, my dad and my uncle kind of started that, they got me into it, they, you know, they, they led the way, I'm, I'm nowhere near the level mechanics they are, I'm trying to learn as much as I can, but they're the reason this happens. It's, it's their knowledge, so. Uh, but yeah, I'd say I'd say the passion of it. It's just the the family aspect, you know, how we race. It's not about money for us. It's just us three rolling, rolling around together in the milk truck, or even my family coming out to the bracket racing the tracks. You know, it's, it's all family and friend base. Thank you so much. No problem. Well, it has been an absolute pleasure to get to feature the Divco milk truck and Nick right here on 3G Video. Go ahead and hit a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button to see so many more episodes of different amazing drag and drive cars and other cars that are street cars that happen to be on a racetrack or the other way around sometimes. 
Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are what makes this channel what it is. Have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys next time.